Right, from today's lesson, Thursday's lesson, the last lesson of this week, um, you get a result that the curved surface area of a cone is pi r l. Okay, can we prove that? Where r is the radius and l is the slant height? Yes, we can. Right, first of all, we need to consider what shape would you would be the net for the curved bit of a cone. Imagine you take a circle and you cut a, a big slice out of it. If you push those two radii together, you get a cone. Those two radii would meet there. So if you push that together, experiment with that, try, start the circle, cut a slice out like that, a slice of pie, you can fold it to get that. That's the starting point for this. Right, if we call that angle theta, and we call that radius r, the area of this sector will be the area of the curved bit of the cone. This area is the area of the circle multiplied by the fraction of the circle we have. That angle compared to 360 gives us the fraction of the circle we have. That area is that area. Okay, what else do we know? We also know that the distance round the base of this cone, that circumference is 2 pi times the radius of that cone. Okay, but that measurement there must be the same as that measurement. And the primitive, the this arc, this length here, that length, uh, what shall I call that? So this arc length is a fraction of a circle multiplied by the circumference of the original circle would have been 2 pi r. Now that and that must be equal, okay? So, but theta over 360 times two pi r must be the same as two pi r. All right, that appears on both sides. The radius of the cone is this fraction of the radius of the circle we've cut up to make it. So what? But, let's find a different Sharpie. But if this is the area of the sector, which is the curved surface of the cone, then the area is theta over 360, well the r squared I could write as r and r, so this is still theta over 360, that's still there, that's still there, and the r squared, oh you stay there, is here and here isn't it? So what? Right. Theta over 360 times r is little r. r times pi r. Pi r 
times r. Right, and this is the final bit of the puzzle. Didn't we say that that length there, that radius, was put onto that radius to make that seam? Well, that radius there, therefore, is this measurement, which is the slant height of the cone, pi r l. Can we prove that the curved surface area of a cone is pi r l? Yes, that's the proof. You don't need to repeat it. I'm done.